Alright guys, so today I'm going to be going over how you can lose that belly fat and get a six pack and you're probably wondering, I'm eating right, I'm doing the right exercises, I'm working out correctly, but I still can't get my six pack to show. But guys, today I'm going to be showing you guys what you're doing wrong and how you can fix them. I'm going to be covering diet, exercises, even the mindset and stuff like that. But guys, as always, if you are new to my channel, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and leave a like on this video for more daily fitness content just like this one. But one thing I do want to point out before I start this video, if you look something like this, you're not going to be seeing the results in four to six weeks or anything like that. You're going to have to do this for a long, longer period of time than an average person would be. But everyone starts somewhere. Don't be ashamed if you do look like this because that's completely fine. But I'm just saying, don't expect to see abs in like four to six weeks. Expect to see them in months. However, everything I'm going to tell you today is going to help you with your fitness journey and your weight loss journey. So stay tuned and we'll get into the first thing now. All right guys, so for example, if you guys have been doing my workouts, my ab workouts, maybe like four to six times a week, and you're saying, Jack, how the hell do I not have abs yet? I've been doing this for like two months. The thing is, you need to burn that belly fat over your abs before you can actually start training them. Of course, start training them, but I'm recommending doing cardio, like stuff like that, for maybe four times a week and even leaving ab workouts twice a week. Now, the difference between ab workouts and belly fat workouts is that ab workouts actually strengthen your core and belly fat workouts actually burn the fat covering your abs. Now, belly fat workouts and ab workouts are different. Ab workouts consist of crunches, planks and stuff like that, pretty stationary movements. And then belly fat workouts are such things like treadmills, runs, star jumps, hip workouts and everything like that. You can combine the two, but if you have belly fat over your abs, I do recommend maybe 80% of the time doing belly fat workouts or overall fat workouts rather than ab workouts all the time. So guys, stop doing so many crunches and planks and stuff like that. It's not gonna burn the belly fat over your abs. Start doing more running, jogging, even a 15 minute walk per day can help a lot. And I have so many belly fat workouts on my channel. Go check them out right now if you guys are interested. Now, when it comes to your workouts, what should you guys be doing? Now, I still recommend training strength, like upper body and lower body. Don't neglect that unless you are severely overweight and you just wanna lose weight. But say you're skinny fat, right, and you wanna build muscle and burn fat at the same time. Instead of doing things like leg extensions in the gym, which are a isolation exercise for the quads, instead do a squat or do a forward lunge or a reverse lunge or anything like that. Now these are known as compound movements. They hit more than one muscle in the body and you'll break a sweat. With the leg extension, for example, all I'm doing is moving my legs up and down. With something like lunge, I'm moving my whole body. This is known as a compound exercise. I want you guys to implement more compound exercises into your workouts. One of my favorite even leg exercises for the compound side of things are, is the jump lunge. Where pretty much you're jumping up, exploding up, and trust me, you're gonna feel the burn, but you also burn belly fat as well. Now for the upper body side of things, I do recommend exercises that require full body movement. So even the bicep curl into a shoulder press or anything like that, compound exercises, explosive push-ups, even regular push-ups are fine, but stop doing your stationary bicep curls. Of course, do them if you wanna train strength. I'm not against anything like that, but if you guys wanna lose belly fat and that is your main goal, start doing more compound exercises that require full body movement. And another thing I do wanna go over with the exercise point is that you guys need to be implementing supersets into your workouts. Now supersets are pretty much two or more exercises in one. So say it's leg day, right? I'm doing squats for one set, goblet squats for one set, and then I'm doing reverse lunges for another. Now these are two compound exercises for the quads mostly. Now this will not only burn more belly fat, which you wanna have for the abs and stuff like that, and even just overall belly fat, but your workouts will be shorter, which is good because I know most people don't really like being in the gym and they just want the workout to be over and done with, feel, good, feel great after it. That's personally with me. I don't hate being in the gym, of course, but I just wanna get out, get my workout done pretty quick. Now, if you superset two exercises into one, now your workouts might be only 45 minutes long instead of an hour and a half long. And that gives 45 minutes to do whatever you want in the rest of the day. So if you guys wanna burn more belly fat and save more time, I highly recommend adding supersets into your workouts and lifting the intensity of your workouts. Now, I also wanna go over your rest periods in the gym. Now, most people have maybe to a minute to a two minute rest in the gym, but for fat burning sake, I recommend a 30 second to even a 45 second period of rest. Now, what's I said before with supersets, 
Not will this only get your workouts to be shorter, but it'll also burn more fat overall. Because you break a sweat, you're not resting as much. Now, if you're strength training, I do recommend having a two to three minute rest, because it's the pretty much the opposite thing. But for fat burning, you need to get, you need to break that sweat, you need to burn more calories. So I do recommend having a 45 second to even a minute at maximum rest time. All right guys, so this video will be mostly on the exercise point, but I do just want to cover diet really quick. Now diet, now your diet, you probably already know this, but it's very important to weight loss and fat burning. If you're constantly eating sugar and bad carbs, bad fats and everything like that, you're just not going to lose weight. It's as simple as that. You guys need to be eating lots of fruits, vegetables and whole grain foods. Now healthy food swaps I recommend is like candy for fruit. Vegetables, you guys need to be eating vegetables. You should be doing that anyways. Um, white pasta, white, white rice, white bread for whole grain bread, brown rice, brown pasta, etc. And that's pretty much it. But if you guys do need more help with your diet, make sure to click the li first link in the description below. That will take you to my website where you can access the custom keto diet, which I highly recommend for weight loss. It's my favorite diet for losing weight and stuff like that and getting your abs to show. So yeah, first link in the description below. Now, I've just covered the main points, of course, diet and exercise. But I also want to go over, probably the most important, in my opinion, is the mindset. Now look, you might get to a point, one to two weeks, you're pretty much the same. You don't see any differences, but you need to be patient. You need to be patient because most likely your abs aren't going to come in two to three weeks. They're probably going to come four to six weeks, like I said before. You guys need to stay consistent with your diet and your workouts because trust me, that's the only way you're going to get there. Nothing great comes easy. Everything that comes great comes from hard work and staying consistent. Please guys, stay consistent. Don't give up halfway through because you will get there. Believe me, you will. Now, if you guys want a more in-depth kind of thing about the mindset, go check out this video in the top right-hand corner. This will show more positives and how to build a greater mindset. Now, it's the first part of the video, but I'm gonna be sharing one exercise you can do, mindset exercise, not physical exercise, you can do for a greater and stronger mindset. Of course, everyone says meditation, which is great. I meditate every morning and it's very good for you. But I want to do one when you're feeling down, not feeling motivated and just want to give up, stuff this stuff, go back to eating the donuts and stuff like that. But it's going to be sitting here, closing your eyes, breathing in and out and really imagining what you would look like if you had six pack abs. How would you feel if you had them? And then focus on what you'd feel if you just gave up, started eating the junk food and stuff like that. What differences would you see? Would you feel so much more better with having six back abs than you would without them. Focus on that and really sit there, even 10 minutes, and really focus on how you would feel. And this will give you motivation to go and get that work in. That will give you the motivation to stop eating the junk food and get a good salad or something like that in. But yeah, really focus, close your eyes, 10 to 15 minutes, breathing in and out, focusing on the breath and focusing on the positives of having six back abs or losing weight and how it impacts your life in a positive way. Once again guys, if you guys do need help with any exercises or stuff like that, make sure to go check out my videos on my channel. I do a lot of fat burning and ab workouts, 10 minute workouts, 20 minute workouts, anything you guys need. Especially if you're trying to train abs, I don't recommend doing an hour workouts. I recommend doing 20 minute high intensity, low volume workouts like that are on my channel. But guys, I'll say it again, if you guys are bloated with belly fat and stuff like that, make sure you're doing HIIT workouts four to five times a week and ab workouts maybe even twice a week because the belly fat is the most important. But if you guys are skinny and you still want abs, don't do belly fat workouts. There's no point of doing them because you already are skinny. Make sure you're doing ab workouts to strengthen your core and to see that six pack. But guys, that's pretty much it. I'm not gonna go over too much. This was a shorter video on how you can get your six pack to show and burn that belly fat covering them. If you guys want a more in-depth video of this, make sure to let me know in the comments below because I'm all happy to do it. I love talking in front of the camera like this about my passion and fitness and stuff like that. Make sure you guys are following me on TikTok and Instagram. They're right up there. Make sure to go follow them. I'm so close to 10,000 followers on TikTok, so make sure to go follow that. Tell your, tell your mom, tell your dad to follow me on TikTok. I'm so close to 10K. That's probably my biggest milestone yet. And yeah, if you guys have any questions, make sure to DM me on Instagram, because I will get back to you. Maybe not the next day, but I will get back to you. I will make sure I do. But guys, that's pretty much it. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Have a blessed day. Peace. I'm alone. I'm a broken home, I gave